$30 download give you the same performance as an professional tune-up? Today we're putting EXM's premium utility up against a full Zilli casual optimization. One is DIY and cheap, the other is a service done by a professional. But does that $55 difference actually buy you anything? Let's find out. We are Zilli. We don't sell tweak packs or DIY programs. We log into your PC and rebuild it for performance. If you care about stable FPS and smarter systems, hit like and subscribe. Here are the two contenders, EXM Premium Utility, Silly Casual Optimization. EXM is priced at 30 euros, Silly Casual Optimization is 85 USD. EXM is downloadable through a DIY software and Silly Casual Optimization is a live one-on-one -on -one session that we go through in a Discord call and using a remote control program called AnyDesk. EXM changes your registry, windows, GPU driver and network tweaks, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. Silly Casual Optimization installs a custom Windows that we label Silly OS. We debloat your drivers. We make sure you have very low process counts. We improve your network latency and we provide custom power plants. The EXM Premium Utility has officially no really BIOS tuning. They do claim to have BIOS tweaks in the program, but from testing, these do not really change anything in the BIOS. They could be just registry tweaks. So the casual optimization has a full BIOS optimization for every motherboard that exists. We hop and call, we go to your BIOS and we change everything that we tell you to change. Both do not have overclocking. EXM has Discord tickets for support while the casual optimization, you get three days with us Anytime that you need, we will fix anything that happens within those first three days. So one focuses only on windows and driver tweaks, while the other encompasses every aspect along with BIOS tuning except overclocking. One is a self-serve utility that takes 30 minutes to apply everything without knowing what it generally does, and the other is fully handled for you. So what 30 euros actually buys you is an EXE with batch files, reg edits, and PowerShell tweaks, which they provide a video guide to apply a thousand of those changes manually. However, there's no live support, no testing, and no BIOS access. And if something breaks, you are pretty much on your own. It's a budget toolkit for confident DIY users, but performance depends on how carefully you follow the instructions and is also limited to only Windows and driver tweaks. Plus, it did take a very long time to apply almost everything in the utility, or at least most of the things that actually give you the most performance according to their tutorial. What 85 gets you instead with the Zilli Casual Optimization is a live one-on-one -on -one remote session with us. We personally install a deep loaded Windows called Zilli OS. We install and configure your drivers correctly for audio, network drivers, and GPU drivers. We clean out any unnecessary background services. We optimize networking for an input latency. We tune your power settings and game responsiveness. We also completely tune BIOS settings and fix any instability issues related to your processor or RAM. There's no guesswork, no scripts, just done for you service. You get three days of live support afterward if anything needs adjusting. So unlike EXM, you don't have to touch a thing. You just book your session and we handle it from start to finish. So here's the live benchmark showdown. We're using Windows 11 24H2 on all testing, a Core i9 1300KS, RTX 3090, and 32 gigabytes of DDR5 at 7,200. It's a pretty much a high-end PC with very high-end RAM that works completely fine. So on baseline Fortnite, we're getting around 827.9 average FPS. After tweaking the stock windows with EXM Premium, we got 870.5 average FPS, which is a 5% difference. With the Zilli Casual Optimization, which includes the custom OS Zilli OS, which is also based on Windows 11 24H2 and BIOS tuning, we got 932.4 average FPS, which is a 13% difference. Now, the most important part for this test is going to be the 1% lows. This is how far your FPS drops down, depending on the scenario and depending on the test. If you guys want to see what testing I'm using, I'm using the FPS test benchmark that I'm going to pop up what it looks like right here. Pretty much you just ride a minecart for 60 to 30 seconds and we do three trials each on every test so we averaged out all these testing and this, these are the results so one percent lows on baseline we got 441.6 and 150.1 percent lows exm 458.1 one percent lows that's four percent difference the 0.1 percent lows were 151.7 so Basically the same thing or just a 1% difference. With the Zilli Casual Optimization, we got 523 1% lows, which is almost 18.4% difference. 
and the 0.1% lows, 212.2, a 42% difference. It's a pretty massive difference because your 1% and 0.1% lows dictate how smooth your game's going to feel regardless of your average FPS. Here's the cost per frame math. And for this, I'm gonna be using the 1% lows just because the average FPS isn't really that important on this PC because it's so high on this computer. And Fortnite, the 1% lows and 0.1% lows are very important in order for the game to feel good and for you to have more FPS in tough situations like Endgame. So for EXM, you're paying $32 for 4% uplift in your 1% lows. For Zilli, you're paying $85 for 18.4% uplift in your 1% lows. So the cost per 1% increase of FPS for EXM, it's going to be $8. And for Zilli, it's $4.62. So effectively, you're paying less money for more FPS increase with the Zilli casual optimization versus the EXM premium utility. And here's the catch. EXM skips BIOS and overclocking, and that's where 80% of performance gains actually come from. These Windows tweaks, they're usually the final 20%. Here's the live benchmark showdown for Call of Duty. So we're still using the same Windows and we're still using the same PC. So the baseline, we're getting 177 average FPS in the Call of Duty BO6 benchmark. With EXM Premium, we're getting 213 average FPS which is a nice 20% improvement over the baseline. And with the Zilli Casual Optimization, we're getting 200 average FPS, which is a 35% improvement in FPS compared to the baseline. So for our lows, the baseline, we got 151 low fifth and 141 low first. With EXM, we got 183 low fifth, which is 21% more FPS compared to baseline. And for our low first, we got 168, which is 19% better. For Zilli, we got 207 low fifth, which is 37% better, and 188 low first, which is 33% better than baseline. So both give you gains from Windows and registry tweaks, but Zilli gives you better lows, less stutter, and no stress. Let's see the cost per frame math. So for EXM, you're paying $32 for 20% average FPS uplift in Call of Duty. For Zilli, you're paying $85 for 35% average F FPS uplift and the cost per 1% FPS. For EXM, you're paying $1.6 per 1%. For Zilli, you're paying $2.42 per percent. But here's the catch. Call of Duty is a very hardware dependent game which excels with overclocking. So if we paired the casual optimization with overclocking like we do in the competitive optimization, we'd see even more FPS. With softwares and utilities, there's no overclocking capability as you need an overclocking expert to adjust your voltages and frequencies to provide a stable, healthy overclock. EXM doesn't have overclocking, neither does Zilli's casual optimization, but Zilli's competitive optimization does. So if you really want max FPS, you need to overclock your CPU, you need to have custom RAM timings, RAM frequency overclocking, and lastly, GPU overclocking. Those upgrades are a part of our competitive optimization, not the casual tier or EXM. So in terms of long-term value, EXM and Zilli Casual, the following are present. So done for you, EXM is not done for you. And for the Zilli Casual, we do everything for you. The performance uplift for EXM, we saw around 5% more FPS in Fortnite. For the Zilli Casual, we saw 30% more FPS. BIOS tuning, there's absolutely no BIOS tuning for EXM. They do have a button where it says BIOS tweaks, but from me clicking on it and actually testing it, there's absolutely nothing done to the actual BIOS settings. For us, we completely hop and call with you on Discord. You screen share the monitor and we see the whole entire BIOS and tell you which settings to change and what to apply. For overclocking, they both do not have overclocking. For support, EXM has a Discord queue. For Zilli Casual, you have a three-day direct help with us. And the risk with EXM is going to be user error. It took me around 30 minutes to apply every single button in the EXM software, which is a pretty long time for just clicking buttons. And I didn't know what half of them meant. So that's the risk with that. For Zilli Casual, there's absolutely zero risk and it does take 45 minutes in total. So you are watching everything that we're doing. And on top of that, it's a pretty quick service because we're also tuning BIOS and reinstalling Windows. So EXM gives you the tools, Zilli gives you results. All right, so now it's decision time. If you love tweaking and don't mind the risk, EXM is fine for small gains. But if you want no stress, no guesswork, and clean tested performance, 
then Zilli Casual Optimization is 100% worth the difference. And when you're ready for serious gains, you upgrade to Competitive Optimization, where overclocking unlocks the rest of your rig's powers. Tweak softwares give you scripts, we give you results. I'm Zilli, see you in the next one.